So hello everyone and very good evening to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of ARD Current Affairs. In this session guys, we are going to discuss some most important agriculture and rural development current affairs uh, which are important for the upcoming NABAD examination. And I hope you all uh, must know this that the NABAD notification is now out and there are around 170 vacancy. So it's time to gear up your preparation. Ab to kis baat ka wait hona, kisi baat ka wait nahi hona chahiye. I know ki abhi tak aap log notification ka wait kar rahe the, but now even the notification is out. So please start your preparations now and we have already started with the uh, sessions for the upcoming NABAD examination on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. There is a session on government scheme. On Tuesday, there is a session on ARD current affairs. So all these things are provided to you absolutely free on this YouTube. All right, so let's begin with the session guys uh, without any delay and let's talk about the very first question from ARD current affairs. And yes, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel, the link for which is provided in the description. All right, question number one, which of the following state governments has given an approval for conducting field trials on BG2 RRF? which is a herbicide tolerant and insect resistant variety of BT cotton. All right. So this is a new variety of BT cotton. And for this, the field trials, the approval for the field trials have been given by a state government. And you have to tell them, uh, you have to tell that which state government has given this approval. So remember, this is Haryana government. Okay. So Haryana government has issued a no objection certificate to a seed company, which is known as Mehko Limited for conducting field trials on BG2 RRF. Now you don't have to go into the details of BG2 RRF. That is too technical. Okay? That is not required for the NABAD examination. All right. Now this BG2 RRF is a herbicide tolerant and insect resistant variety of BT cotton. All right. Until now, India has allowed commercial use of BG1 and BG2 GM cotton in India. BG1 and BG2 GM cotton in India mein already chal raha hai. While the approval for this cotton which is BG2 RRF has now been given by the Haryana government. And this will, uh, this will provide protection against various pest attacks such as American Bolvon. And if you are a Nabar student, serious Nabar student, you must have heard about this American Bolvon. Alright. So this was about the news and now let's come back to the question. The correct answer to this question is what guys? Haryana option C. Haryana is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number two. With which of the following e-commerce company, Spices Bowl of India has signed a term of agreement to enhance market access and help promote term of understanding. Basically, an agreement has been signed, right? With which of the following e-commerce company, Spices Bowl of India has signed a term of understanding to enhance market access and help Promote farmers and grassroots organizations working in the spices sector. Very, very important question. You can expect this question in, in your examination. Remember this e-commerce company guys is Flipkart and spices board under its favorite spices trading limited. All right. Do you remember this organization? This is the organization under spices board. All right. So spices board under its favorite spices trading limited has signed this term of understanding with Flipkart. All right, Flipkart ke saath hi MOU sign hua hai and it has been signed to enhance the market access and help promote farmers and grassroots organizations working in the spices sector. This agreement has been signed under Flipkart's Samarth Initiative. Theek hai? So, Spices Board ki taraf se kone hai? Flavorit Spices Trading Limited and there is an initiative from Flipkart's side that is known as what? Samarth Initiative. And this Samarth initiative, guys, is aimed to empower MSMEs, artisans, entrepreneurs, and farmers by providing them e-commerce platform to sell their products. Okay, so Samarth initiative ke under kya hota hai? Jitre bhi hamare farmers hai, MSME owners hai, in sabhi ko e-commerce platform provide karaya jata hai for selling their products. Okay, so therefore the correct answer is what? Option B, Flipkart. Now, there is a question for you. Can you tell me who is the CEO of Flipkart? Write down in the comment section. Flipkart ke CEO ka naam batana hai aapko. Moving ahead to question number three. According to the latest report by state level bankers committee, non-performing assets in agriculture loans stood at Rs. 6572 crores in financial year 22. How much percent the NPAs have risen as compared to financial year 2020-2021? 
right so according to this report the agricultural non performing assets which means Uh, जो लोन एग्रीकल्चर पर्पस के लिए लिया गया है उसमें जो नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स है वो इंक्रीज हो रहा है सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस रिपोर्ट बाय स्टेट लेवल बैंकर्स कमिटी नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स इन एग्रीकल्चर लोन्स टू डैट रुपीज सिक्स फाइव सेवन टू करोर्स इन फाइनेंशियल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू एंड दिस इज दिस इंक्रीज इन एनपीए इन एग्रीकल्चरल लोन इज एट्रीब्यूटेड टू प्रोलॉन्ग मानसून एंड इराटिक रेनफॉल इन द कंट्री जो कि फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी टू में हमने देखा था All right. Now, if we compare this NPA with the previous financial year, that is financial year 21, then it has risen by 15 percent. It has risen by 15 percent from 5696 crores in financial year 21 to 6572 crores in financial year 2022, and that is why it is a very very important question. You can expect this question also in your exam, and therefore, the correct answer is option E, 15 percent. Okay. Moving ahead to question number four, in which country the largest freshwater fish ever recorded, uh, named as giant stingray, was captured in Mekong River? Now, uh, looking at the Mekong River, don't mark the answer as China because China is not the answer. I agree that Mekong River, you have heard the most about China, is related, hai, but Mekong River or other countries may flow through it, right? So this country, guys, is actually Cambodia, where the largest fresh water fish ever recorded was captured where where in cambodia in northern cambodia there is a district which is known as stung treng okay the name of the district do you remember this stung treng and of course remember the scientific name of this uh, giant stingray which is eurogymnus polylepis eurogymnus polylepis is the scientific name so it is important because we are talking about ard section of navad examination and that is why this scientific name becomes important all right so it has been captured in cambodia option c is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 5 which state government has announced to install 1 lakh solar pumps under solar agriculture livelihood scheme all right so kaun se state government ne announce kiya hai ki wo 1 lakh solar pumps lagayenge under solar agriculture livelihood scheme so this government this state government guys is rajasthan which has announced that it will install 1 lakh solar pumps and it these pumps will be installed under a state government schemes which is solar agriculture livelihood scheme and this scheme works under the supervision of the uh, central government scheme which is known as what pm kusum kisan urja suraksha evam uthan mahabhiyan you must have heard about this scheme agar nahi suna hai to you can go and search for the anujindal government schemes you will find a playlist there i have discuss this scheme and already a 4.24 megawatt project has been awarded in tonk which is in rajasthan of course under which 656 farmers will get the solar energy theek hai so therefore the correct answer is what rajasthan option b is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 6 which country was the major importer of indian seafood in value and volume in financial year 2021 22 this question we are discussing because according to ministry of commerce and industry marine exports in india marine exports in india ka record hua hai in the financial year 22 theek hai jo marine ke exports the marine products ke jo export tha uska record hua hai in financial year 22 and that is why we are discussing it so ministry of commerce and industry has announced that india's marine export has recorded an all time high in the financial year 22 and it has reached to 7.76 billion dollar which is approximately 58000 crores and out of all the marine products the number one was frozen shrimp number one was what frozen shrimp and out of all the importing countries sabse zyada import kahan pe hua tha sabse zyada import hua tha usa mein followed by china european union south east asia japan and middle east all right so that is why this is very very important ठीक है बिकॉज इट इज डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू द मरीन एक्सपोर्ट्स ऑफ कंट्री एंड नबार्ड के जो एग्जामिनर्स है जनरली उनका फेवरेट टॉपिक रहता है ये एनिमल हस्बेंड्री फिशरीज वगैरह राइट सो देर फोर द करेक्ट आंसर इज वॉट ऑप्शन ए यूएसए एंड नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इन विच कंट्री पीयूष गोयल द मिनिस्टर ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री हु इज ऑल्सो द मिनिस्टर ऑफ कंज्यूमर अफेयर्स फूड एंड पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड ही इज ऑल्सो द मिनिस्टर ऑफ टेक्सटाइल्स and he is also the leader in rajya sabha right 
so in which country piyush goel has inaugurated a mango festival to raise awareness among europeans and establish a market for indian mangoes in europe this is a very straight forward question there are no details in it this country where piyush goel has inaugurated this festival is brussels option c brussels is the correct answer to this question moving ahead to question number 8 Which of the following countries has become the largest importer of broken rice from India in financial year 21-22? Very very important question. इस तरीके के questions यार इनमें बहुत पूछे जाते हैं, right? Especially अगर कोई news में है तो. So the largest importer of broken rice in financial year 2021-22 from India was China. Option E is the correct answer. And the last question for today: Which of the following countries has become the first Asian country? to legalize growing and trading of marijuana for treatment purposes sungne ke liye nahi peene ke liye nahi for treatment purposes so this has become the first asian country to legalize marijuana for treatment purposes and the country in question guys is thailand option e is the correct answer to this question okay so that's it for today's session and i have already announced this let me announce this once again that we have launched a live course for Uh, nabard grade a examination and rbi and sebi as well for nabard ard classes are already started for esi esi classes are will be start will start from uh, 15th of july all right and i hope you guys have enjoyed this session and if you want to have the pdf let me tell you you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description and i will see you tomorrow with a brand new government schemes till then goodbye take care and god bless